Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the front brakes on this 2008 Chevy Silverado work truck. If you need these parts or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. I'm going to take a 22 millimeter socket, I'm just going to take this center cap off, loosen up these plastic covers. If you have to use a ratchet, you can use a ratchet. Pull that off. Take my same 22 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. And we'll loosen up these lug nuts. Now we're going to raise and support the vehicle. We're using a two post lift. If you're doing this at your house, you can use a jack and jack stands. I'll remove these lug nuts. Now I'll take the last lug nut off. Take the wheel off. Remove the brake caliper. We're going to use a 19 millimeter socket to remove these two bolts and a breaker bar. Oops, loosen that up. I'll loosen the top one. So we get them broken free. Sometimes you can just take them out by hand. Otherwise, you could also use a ratchet. Take those two bolts out. Next, I'm going to grab a fairly big straight blade screwdriver. Pry in between here and the brake rotor. I'm just going to pry it out a little bit. That's just going to compress the caliper piston a little bit. Just make it easier to remove the caliper. And slide the caliper off. There we go. Slide it out. We're going to grab a bungee cord. We're going to slide it through the <coughs> strut spring and then secure it onto the brake caliper just like that. We want to support it so that there's no tension on the brake hose because you don't want the hose to break. I'm going to take the brake pads off now. You just use a screwdriver. Again, just pry on this pad. This pad's stuck in there pretty good, so it wasn't sliding very well. It should not be this tight in here. Slide that out. Slide the other one out. Just pry in between the pad and the rotor. Pull it up. Now we want to take this caliper bracket off. We're going to use an 18 millimeter socket and a rat and a breaker bar. Loosen up these two bolts. Once they're loose a little bit, you probably need to use a ratchet to take them out, but these ones are pretty loose. You can do it by hand. There is some thread locker on these. If you want, you can add thread locker before you reinstall them. Or if you have new caliper bracket bolts, you can, they generally come with the thread locker on them. And grab the caliper bracket and just slide it back. Now, this rotor is pretty loose. If your rotor was stuck on there, you could take a hammer, you can hit in all these positions. Just be careful not to hit the studs when you're doing it. And that should loosen up the rotor and pull it right off. Here's our old brakes. Here's our new brakes from 1AAuto.com. If you 
take a look at the pads. The pads are the same shape. Have the same linings. The ears are the same. If you look at the rotors, rotors are the same height. They have the machined, same machine surfaces, same holes. They're both vented. The inside's the same. Get yours at 1AAuto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. Obviously this hub is brand new. Um, what you'd want to do is you're probably going to have some rust build up in this, these areas. So you take a wire brush, you're going to go in like this, clean any of that rust up, just like that. You're going to do the whole hub. If you see any high spots, you want to concentrate on getting those flat and level. Okay, we're going to clean up this caliper bracket. Just use a wire brush. Just going to clean up these brake pad slides. These are some clips that go on. Clean that real good. So we're going to reuse those. We can pull these off. If it's real bad underneath, we can just clean up some of the rust underneath. That. Clean that up. And then right here on the actual caliper bracket, clean the, the rust in here. It builds up a little bit and makes the pads stick a little bit. So it's pretty good. Take that pad slide, pad clip, reinstall that. Next, we're going to take this out. Take some brake parts cleaner, spray it down, spray in the hole, wipe it off with a rag. Get in the hole here and clean this out a little bit. Got any extra in there, dump it out. Take a little brake caliper grease, slide it on this slide pin, and reinstall it. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. Now I'm going to take the rotor. I'm going to install it backwards so that I can clean the back side. I'm just going to take some brake parts cleaner, spray down the back side. There is a protective coating to prevent it from rusting, so we want to wipe that off. Just use a rag. So we'll flip it back over. Just like that. Brake parts cleaner again. Clean this front side and a rag. Just like that. If you had a screw, you'd want to screw that in that holds the rotor on. This vehicle didn't have one, so I'm just going to take a lug nut to hold the rotor on there for me while I install the caliper bracket. All right, we'll take the caliper bracket, slide it back into position over the rotor, take the bolts, get these started. Then I'm gonna just tighten these up with a ratchet in an 18 millimeter socket. Get those snug first. I'll use a torque wrench and my 18 millimeter socket. I'm gonna torque these to 129 foot pounds. Those are good. Now we're gonna take the inboard pad I'm just gonna coat the ears with some brake grease right here, and then this side as well. Keep in mind which side the squealer was on. Um, when you take the old pads off, the squealer will be on this side or this side. Um, generally, the right side has the squealer on the bottom, and the left side would be the opposite. It would still be on the bottom, but be on the other side. And then I'll coat the back side of the pad a little bit. 
That'll help prevent some squealing. Slide this into position. Just like that. I'll do the same with this outer brake pad. Now the outer brake pad looks a little bit different. It's more of a horseshoe. The other one was more of a looking like a D. And lubricate the back side of the pad. And put it on the outside. We're gonna grab this brake caliper, pull the bungee cord off. Slide that out of the way. Flip it over. I'm gonna take one of the old brake pads. I'm gonna use this brake caliper compressor tool. We sell this at 1AAuto.com. Get this into position. Now this is a single piston compressor tool, but what I'm gonna do is go slowly back and forth and I can compress both pistons. Let's go slow. A little bit at a time. One thing to keep in mind after you're done doing the brake job, it's a good idea to check your fluid level. Make sure, because right now as I compress this caliper, the fluid level is going back through the hoses, through the lines, through the master cylinder, and into the reservoir. Just go slow back and forth till it all till the pistons all the way down and that looks good pistons all the way down if that rubber boot pushes up a little bit just try to push it back in just like that sometimes you can use a little pick or a screwdriver just be careful not to stab the boot now we're going to reinstall the caliper make sure your caliper hose is not twisted Line that up. Take the brake caliper bolts. Get those started. So I'm gonna take a 19 millimeter wrench on the back side of here to hold the, the um, brake caliper slide from spinning while I snug up the bolt on the outside with a 19 millimeter socket and a ratchet. And I'll do the same on the bottom. This one's a little bit easier to see because there's a boot missing. Um, you want to make sure you have that boot. So I'll just tighten this up just like that. And then we're going to torque it. We're going to torque this to 75, 74 foot pounds. a 19 millimeter socket and a torque wrench. We'll take this lug nut off that we were just holding the rotor on with. Take that off. Grab the tire. Line it up. Install the lug nuts. Now we're gonna lower the vehicle down to the ground just so the tire is just touching the ground. Now I'm gonna use a 22 millimeter socket and a torque wrench. I'm gonna to torque these lug nuts to 140 foot pounds. I'm gonna do it in a cross pattern so that it tightens the wheel down evenly. I'm going to recheck it. Now I'll install the center cap and I'll use my socket and just tighten these little caps down. Not too tight, they are plastic. 
After doing the brake job, I'm gonna have to pump the brake pedal multiple times because there's an air gap between the brake caliper piston and the brake pads. So we wanna get rid of, eliminate that air gap by pumping the pedal. This pushes the caliper back out, the piston out. And then after the brake job, we're gonna wanna check the brake reservoir and make sure that the fluid level is correct. This fluid level is a little bit high, so we're gonna have to adjust it. If you do, just take some out. If you have to add, you wanna fill it up to the max line right there. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.